They are each just badass motorcycles in their own right. The Speedmaster, the Can-Am Riker Sport, and the Yamaha XT250. They're all great bikes, and I'm glad I own them. Listen, I'm a 60-year-old dude, and I took a break from riding bikes for a while, but you never know what life is going to throw at you. So if getting on a bike suits your fancy, get out there and get you one. Don't pass it by. You might be waiting until tomorrow, but tomorrow may never come. What I'm trying to do here is line up all three motorcycles and do a sort of a static display. Right, there's the Yamaha and the Can-Am Riker Sport. We're going to get this Speedmaster in here and we're going to make it so that they're close enough together, not too far apart, where I can walk around them and talk about them. And then we're going to be cool. There are two of my steel horses. I love them. And now we are going to do just a little walk around. This is my 2020 Triumph Speedmaster I bought about April 2020. It's my around the town bike and get on the highway if I need to go anywhere bike. Then there's the Yamaha XT250 that I bought about October of 2020. It's another around the town bike back and forth to Walmart just to pick up stuff. And I like to take it off on some light off-road riding. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get this 2022 Can-Am Riker Sport into place here. The Riker, man, I just wanted a three-wheeler. And I didn't want the expense of a hardly Abelson and just look at this Riker wheel spin. You can't resist this wheel. We've got the beloved bicycle toy horn. There's a quad lock phone mount on each bike so I can switch my iPhone between each of them. Essentially what we're looking at here is a Triumph Speedmaster that costs 13 grand out the door. And then we're looking at a Can-Am Riker Sport. Let's say that was 14 out the door. Those are both equal to one Harley Davidson. And then I have this XT250 that I paid six grand for. Looking at it another way, what we have here are three prime motorcycles for the price of one Harley Abelson. And I can call them Harley Abelsons because I've owned three of them in the past and two of them left me stranded. Now look at this Can-Am. I didn't know before I started researching that Can-Am also makes jet skis and snowmobiles and utility and all-terrain vehicles and don't forget that Riker Sport rear wheel for ranchers and farmers to go off-road with these are dependable machines Pan Am has been around for a really long time now mind you they've only made these Rikers since about 2019 and they've worked the kinks out of them over the years but this 22 model is solid and look at those wheels i can't get over the wheels on the riker sport should you be so inclined as to watch some of my other videos you'll see that i have one about the ape hangers and bar end mirrors and saddlebags and mounts on the triumph speedmaster they are each just badass motorcycles in their own right the speedmaster the Can-Am Riker Sport and the Yamaha XT250. They're all great bikes and I'm glad I own them. Listen, I'm a 60-year-old dude and I took a break from riding bikes for a while, but you never know what life is going to throw at you. So if getting on a bike suits your fancy, get out there and get you one. Don't pass it by. You might be waiting until tomorrow, but tomorrow may never come.